Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you how to Jaffer, basically. I'm doing this unscripted, so if I mess up, that's my fault. So first of all, uh, we will be talking about how to draw the general concept of fur. Now once you see in fur faces like this, and our end goal is sort of like this sort of hair, and yeah. So let's just get started with it. Let's just start with a simple, let's say, let's, uh, let's draw a face real quick. So let's say we have this face here. How do we start drawing the fur with this face on? So um, usually what I see, uh, what I did before is draw two lines and then that. That's my fur. Or like, just draw this and boom. But um, since I uh, can't explain that way, I show you a way that I observed other people. If you look at here, you can see that I have a circle here, and that's because I usually don't draw the circle. But for now, the way you can visualize the fur is you can draw sort of like a circle here, and you can put. Uh, you can put hair around that. So how do we start fur? Uh, how do we start drawing fur? Base, uh, basically, um, I usually start with a triangle and then followed by a line strokes, two line strokes, and then those, and then you just come to continue that pattern. Usually, you can do a triangle, a triangle, and then a line stroke, triangle, line stroke. Two, tri uh, two triangles, line stroke, basically that. And that will usually look good. But you always have to remember that you don't have to do each indole fur, individual fur. Like what we do in the hair, we don't draw each, uh, we don't draw each indi individual stroke of the hair. We usually want to um, think of it as clumps. So basically here on the fur, we can think of like let's say we want the fur to be going this way we can draw our fur pointing that way so we can start over here in the middle of the circle of the arrow that I made and let's have like an, uh, a triangle there a triangle there and then another triangle and then have like a line stroke and then Let's call these ticks. And then a triangle over here, another triangle, and then a tick right there. So you want to combine these two simple shapes with a, a triangle and a tick. And usually, we can do the same for the hair for that. So let's just draw the ears real quick. And then for the ears, I usually like to draw fur on the back of the ear because that's my style but you can do it too so take uh, a triangle a tick two ticks and then yeah there my style is pretty simple I like to draw small so over here on the ear we can do the same thing a big triangle to symbolize the ear and then small ticks there and for the hair, we can do the same for the hair. Depends on what higher style we could go with. But since uh, let's, since we can feel like this guy has good energy, let's color him actually, so that color theory comes in. Since he has a lot of energy, you can feel a lot of energy coming from him. We can sort of draw him with with spiky hair. So. Same idea with over here, we can draw a big spike, another big spike, and a ticks, another big spike, uh, spike, ticks, spike, tick, spike. There, that's the simple hair. For simple art style like this, you can follow this rule and draw simple hair like this. For more complicated art styles, I 
I'd recommend you searching for other hair tips because usually I like drawing simple uh, hair like these and yes and yeah they're simpler and I don't have to trouble about learning how to match them and stuff so let me finish up the neck area so we can follow the same rule on our neck area and we can have sort of like shoulders over here and mark the shoulders there and then since for their furries they will have like lots of fluffy hair so you can follow the triangle tick tick triangle tick triangle tick tick roll that I did and so you can do triangle tick triangle tick tick triangle they say you can randomize it two, tri two triangles another tick triangles tick and there that's your fur you can follow over here triangle tick tick triangle tick and then there and add lines to emphasize the neck add fur shadow for the sketch and that's about it then we can draw around here some other fur area and finalize it like a bust and there you go that's our fur and for other samples let me draw one real quick so for this example I kind of want her I want to give her sort of um, sort of short hair and we can follow this rule but instead of mostly having uh, having triangles we can change it to having more ticks and then less triangles so we can follow that rule if you want short hair so let's start with a circle then we can have tick big hair tick and big tick short hair then that and then we can fix it up a bit make it look more scruffy and there that's a really quick way of making short hair or short fur let's say and like that's usually you don't want to do this specifically I I do I probably do a chin sort of like a chin mark here and then sort of like add tiny ticks to make it look furry and stuff because for short hair you don't want to usually um, bunch it up like this because as I said earlier you don't want to draw each individual hair so I'd recommend doing sort of like a flat surface for short hair and then start detailing it a little with random fur now I'll finish up these two to show you the final work So that's about it. Uh, this is what I'd probably line art with. Uh, I use in Firebaka, I use the marker tool to line art because I like the texture of it. And uh, yeah, this is what I'd leave it on for line art. I'd probably fix these if I had more time. I'd fix these to have sort of more detailing. And don't, don't don't do what I do right now and have the have the uh, camera zoomed in because if you zoom out it's gonna look really small and pixely and stuff. I'd recommend you zoom out and draw big scale like here of it. So you can have more free uh, 
detailing because I know this looks aesthetic but the problem is that your art will look a little um, uh, pixely sort of but if you like that I guess you can try it and that's about it uh, Charlotte should be uh, happy to be posting more often I say that every time but I'm not gonna probably but I, I'm gonna try this time Hopefully. Okay, alright. Bye bye.